Hey, what's going on you guys? John Shea here from the No Shame Income channel. And today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually going to basically give you guys a little mini tour of my office and uh, my computer setup and just kind of where I'm spending most of my time while at home with, uh, you know, basically being a self-employed entrepreneur. So I wanted to give you guys a little mini tour and kind of show you how I've set everything up, give you a little bit of insight as to um, the lay of the land, so to speak, where I'm spending most of my time. So let's dive right into it. So this is basically a small office that I put together. Um, this was originally before I moved into this home. It was actually a bedroom and I think it was like two little boys were, were staying here and they had a bunk bed. There was a carpet in the room and I decided to turn this into an office. And the reason being was that there's actually no closet in this room. So it wasn't going to make as good of a guest bedroom or a place to really have a, you know, a good bedroom because of that reason. So I'll kind of go through and just talk about some of the things that I'm using for my own setup. The first, um, probably most important is your desk, right? Um, I actually spent a ton of time years ago trying to find a really, really good desk for my computer setup. And one of the things that I really wanted was kind of this dual desk that would allow me to not only have dual monitors like I have now, but also have the capability where if I had like a friend come over and we wanted to play some computer games, you know, they could either just put a desktop here or they could even, um, you know, basically just sit here with a laptop and um, it wouldn't be like we're cramping in each other's space. Growing up, I always had this like wooden desk and I barely had any room for like the mouse and I was able to put a second person there if I really needed to, but that was always an issue. So that was something I really wanted. So I found this desk, um, it's actually by a company called Bolt. And what's really cool is the back part of it, you can see here, you can actually raise or lower. So I was able to raise um, the back part here and it does have in the back there's actually sections here where you can put like wires and things like that through it so in terms of some of the other setup um i'm basically sporting you know I'm, I'm a guy who's a big gamer so i have this gaming keyboard it's by corsair all lit up red i kind of you know stuck with a similar um kind of theme here you can see the red mouse pad and then this logitech mouse you can actually configure this so it like lights up different colors I'm using a monitor. Uh, this is a 34 inch monitor. I actually paid, I think it was like over $1,200 when I bought this. Um, they're probably a little bit lower now, but this thing is absolutely amazing for just getting work done, um, gaming on it. Uh, really everything about it is amazing. This thing looks so awesome uh, when playing video games and just having the ability to multitask and really just see everything. It's just an amazing monitor. So this is something I recently got uh, last year. Um, this is an older monitor that's about a 22 inch. So I use this mainly for like recording my screen care, my screen share videos. If I try to record them on this monitor because it's in 4K resolution, a lot of times um, the recordings just aren't going to be good for like showing things off through like courses or creating content. Some of the things that I do on YouTube, a lot of times I will actually record on this monitor in uh, 1080p resolution. I also recently upgraded the router. I got this um, new Netgear router that's really designed for gaming and it allowed me to take advantage of like the full speed internet that I have, which is over, um, I think it's like 100 Mbps, something like that, that really just allows me to take advantage of that. So if I'm downloading video games or video files or anything like that, um, I do that. One thing that uh, I have this little just like paper there because one of my cats loves to like sit on the router and she'll actually like hit the buttons here and power the Wi-Fi off and I'll hear my wife like yelling down the hall while she's playing video games that she lost her connection. So um, in terms of some other things, I usually just, you know, if I have like midday snacks, like I get some crackers and hummus here, water. I recently got this wireless headset. This thing is amazing. Um, basically this has no wires whatsoever. It's got this base station and I have this Logitech um, speaker setup that I got a long time ago. This is probably about six or seven years old now. It's a 5.1 surround sound and what I'm able to do is because this base station has um, plugs here for headphones, I can actually plug these headphones in or just take them out at any time right here. And um, I can basically go all the way downstairs in my kitchen with these things on and I'll still hear people talking or gaming through the, through the speakers 100%. So I usually use these for gaming or listening to music, whatever. Um, and then obviously I still have the Logitech setup. 
um, so I can you know still listen to music, have just regular sound if I don't want to have headphones on. But this thing um, was I think a couple hundred dollars, really amazing investment if you're looking for something for like a wireless uh, setup. Uh, a couple other basic things. I try to keep my desk, you know, fairly uncluttered. Right now, there's just a couple things here. This is if you guys ever have like back issues from sitting all day, which is something that I found uh, was big for me. Right, I'm I'm, I'm self-employed, sitting at home all day in an office chair. This thing is amazing for just like getting out um, knots and you know hitting really like tight spots in your back, things like that. I also found um, with this particular space, and it was something where um, this is more recent, right, in the winters. Um, I do a baseboard heating all around the edges here. It would get really hot in this room with the door closed and I usually keep the door closed because I do have several cats and one of them is a kitten, loves to come in here and kind of get into things and you know it can really just sort of disturb you while you're working. So um, with this door shut it gets super hot in this room. So I picked up this fan and uh, just been kind of running this once in a while to help with that. Um, beyond that I keep it fairly basic in here. I bought a little, um, you know, shelving unit here so I can keep like all my important documents, like tax stuff, um, anything that's like important for, you know, just having something that you you have with paper, right? That's not digital. Um, this little cabinet I just picked up at Target was really cheap. Um, doesn't take up a lot of space, and I was able to conveniently put this printer on here. So this is something that I was able to do without, um, you know, just utilizing all this extra space in this room. Another thing I did in here is I picked up this stand, which this is what I use most of the videos that I'm recording. Um, you'll notice that, you know, it's basically this angle here. So that's the wall that we're facing. And when I'm standing, I'm usually kind of blocking the printer and all of this. So all you really see is this background wall. So it works out really well with the, with the um, window being here because all the natural sunlight comes in. You may notice this video, it might not be the brightest because um, usually I'm utilizing this sunlight coming in and then I'm kind of doing screen share recordings for most of my other stuff. So a lot of times I have this stand where I can just put this same camera on it and uh, that allows me to to uh, record without needing to like hold the camera or ask somebody else to do it. So this was really cheap. I just got it off Amazon, didn't cost a lot of money. The other thing I did, and this has kind of been uh, slightly demolished because my I had it on the floor and the kitten kept coming in here and you know <laughs> taking off the tacks. But this is like my um, my tack board slash uh, you know whiteboard where I can just you know write stuff down, um, jot down things I'm thinking about. Originally I had this over here, but um, I still have to take some stuff out of the wall for it too, but I actually decided to move it because it was showing up in a lot of my videos in the background and I figured it'd be better to just have kind of a, a clear slate background, um, you know, instead of having it show. So I moved it over here and that's been working out pretty well. A couple other things I do have when I'm doing, um, my webcam stuff, you can see I, I do have the Logitech 1080p webcam here. I bought one of these lights off Amazon and this is basically, this thing gets really bright if I just use it as is, but it's one of these really simple little lights that just sits on the desk. I can easily flip it on with a switch here. You can see how bright that gets. But um, I have this that I can kind of put this on here. And if I'm doing a webcam video, I can kind of leave it like that. So this is sort of helping with you know the light not completely blinding me. And it's adding enough light that if I do a webcam video and I have the sunlight coming in, I'm able to you know, do some fairly decent recordings and not you know, seem like I'm sitting in total darkness. So that's a nice little convenient thing if uh, you're looking for some lighting. This was a really cheap little add-on. Um, in terms of like overall comfort, I bought this gaming chair a little while ago, probably about two years ago now I want to say, uh, from DX Bracer. I believe it was on one of their Black Friday deals. It was normally $425 retail. But I decided to pick this up. Um, I think I want to say I paid about 300 for it. And this isn't bad. I wouldn't say it's like the most comfortable thing in the world. Obviously, it's really made for people that are like gaming or live streaming. But um, I do really like this. One of the things that I think is good about it is it does have this lumbar support. So, you know, one of the things I found is if I'm sitting all day, uh, you know, and I'm not using something like this, my back will start to have some issues. Um, the other thing I did is obviously I bought one of these Office Depot chairs. This is actually an identical chair from one that I used to use at my job 
when I was working a nine to five job, this was the same exact one they had. It was from like Office Max or something. So at the time, I really liked the chair. Like I always felt like I was comfortable in it. So I went out and I bought the same chair and this was my old one. So I now kind of have this extra of people come over uh, they're, they're sitting here using the com another computer or whatever. And then I also bought this guy um, that I use once in a while. This is a fairly new little addition to the room, I guess you could say. But uh, this is basically called, I think it's called Back Forever or Back Buddy. I forget what they call it. But this thing you strap around your back and then they have these knee pads which you can use and use it for like 15 minutes a day and it really helps you with posture. So these are just things that I'm doing regularly because, um, you know, I'm sitting here all the time, right? I don't want to be someone that's going to end up with a bunch of problems later on down the road because I'm not taking care of my posture. Uh, last but not least, I usually have one of my cats. This is Maya. She's hanging out here today. She's usually hanging out um, throughout the day. She'll sleep here in this little basket. So just having something for the cats to be able to come in and hang out. We have, believe it or not, we've got four cats. So um, there's, you know, they're kind of spread out throughout the, throughout the house, hanging out all day. So I usually let her come in. She's usually quiet and uh, let her sleep in here. So that's pretty much the setup. Um, figured I'd show you guys that. Another really cool thing I figured I'd leave this with is I actually have every day when I go to um, leave the room at night, I have this power switch by Belkin and this basically is a entire power strip down there that powers the computer and all the devices. And when I flip this off, it actually shuts the power strip down. So this has actually allowed me to save a little bit on my electric bills because of the fact that I have, you know, this high end custom computer here and really get to show this off, but you can see the whole thing's like lit up all rainbow and cool colors. It's all glass case. So this thing being running all day as it is, is taking up significant amount of power with the monitors and all the electronics, uh, everything being plugged in here. So uh, one of the things I found that's helped with my electric bill has been to basically install one of these, flip this at night, and then that's powering off the speakers, the subwoofer, the computer, and all the peripherals, and uh, it's lowering the electric bill. So anyway, that's my tour of my office slash gaming setup. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.